Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I know how much you love the uh, videos that I do that compare different items so you can choose which one works best for you. And I was really inspired to do this video two nights ago when I saw that Kim Kardashian tweeted out to basically the whole world asking them what double stroller she should get. And I sort of just chuckled when she wrote that because I always tell my clients every stroller is not one size fits all. You know, your needs are different than your friends. The people you meet on Facebook or, you know, in different mommy groups, they all have different preferences, different needs, different likes than you do. You know, you may say that something is a total deal breaker for you and it might be the most important feature to me. So when I do these videos, I try to give you the most, you know, details I can give you that are, that are facts. And sometimes I input a little bit of my opinion here and there, but I really want you to be able to choose what works for you and not be so swayed by my opinion because my life might be very different than yours. So this video was inspired by Kim Kardashian, but I think you'll be able to really uh, use a lot of the information that's in it. Behind me right now are the three strollers we're comparing. They are all single to double strollers. This means they can be used as a single stroller and eventually be turned into a double stroller or be purchased as a double stroller from the beginning if that's what you need. Um, all of them have that, but today we're going to talk about only them as double strollers. I think it's important to sort of not get um, too much information into this video and it's already going to be like a, a, an, a packed video with a lot of content um, so I don't want to you know cloud it with too much single double single double so we're going to talk about it as singles today um, and please note that all the strollers behind me are the 2017 models so like in five years from now if you're watching this video please do not send me that hate mail that I, I know you guys love sending me where you're like you're wrong the new stroller well yeah I'm talking about a stroller in 2017 so 2017 strollers and here we go this is the Silver Cross Wave Stroller. This is the Up a Baby Vista Stroller. And this is the Baby Jogger City Select Luxe Stroller. Let's talk about the weights now because I think it's important for you to know um, what each of them weighs, but keep in mind that people have different ways of folding. Like I personally fold all of my strollers without the seat on. I, I have an SUV, so for me, popping the seat off is no big deal and I throw it into my trunk. So I'm not really super concerned with the weight of the stroller with the seat on it, but for you, maybe you only want to fold it with the seat on. So I'm going to give you the weight both ways. Without the seat on, just frame and wheels alone, the Silver Cross Wave Stroller is 24.5 pounds. When you add in one seat, the stroller is 34.3 pounds. Um, keep in mind that these weights that I'm giving you are the weights we've been given directly from the manufacturers of these products. Sometimes there's a little discrepancy for people who, you know, bust out their own scale and start weighing them. I can't be held accountable for that. I don't know anything about that. I just know the weights that I have been told. So this stroller is 34.3 pounds with one seat on. I am not giving you the weight of it with um, two seats because you're not able to fold any of them with two seats. So it's irrelevant what it weighs with two seats because you're never going to be lifting it up and carrying it around. The Up a Baby Vista stroller is 19.3 pounds just as a frame. So if you're lifting it by itself, you got you got to be able to lift 19.3 pounds into your trunk. As a single stroller, it is 26.6 pounds. So you can see this stroller is a little bit lighter than this stroller was. The City Select Luxe Stroller is 24.2 pounds with um, no seats on at all, and 30.4 pounds with one seat attached. So there's a pretty big weight difference between these strollers. But again, um, if you are a pretty healthy person, I don't find any of them a problem to you know, lift up and get into the trunk of your vehicle. So now that we've got that, as you can see, I have them all set up the same way. The strollers are all with the seats facing the parent. And you can see right off the bat that the handlebar on the Silver Cross goes the lowest. What that really means is that if a shorter person wants to push this stroller, this would be the, probably the best stroller for them because the handlebar does actually go the lowest. Um, the Vista is the, you know, the, the second highest, and the City Select is actually quite high for the lowest position. Now, when I lift them up, same, same thing. The order is going to be the same. Actually, no, it's not. The Silver Cross is going to get higher than the Vista. So the Silver Cross is pretty good for a, a really tall person, but if you are like super tall, like you know, like professional basketball player tall, City Select is probably the way to go because that handlebar gets extremely tall. And in the middle, still really nice height, is the Up Baby Vista. You're also going to notice that they all have different types of handlebars. The Silver Cross has this great faux leather, um, kind of sophisticated luxury look to the entire stroller. And that also translates to the handlebar where you see um, this, you know, faux leather wrapped. The Vista is foam, so it's also a really comfortable grip. 
um, easy to grab, easy to clean as well. And the baby jogger is also a foam, but a, a, a different kind, it's like a rubber. Um, and it's also pretty comfortable. This one has like a more of a sporty look. I always, like if I compare these to cars, so we do that a lot here, I feel like this would be, you know, your SUV, your Ford Explorer. This would be like an upgrade from that as far as look goes. I would more compare this to maybe like a Lexus SUV. And then the Silver Cross is your Range Rover. So if, if look and sophistication and um, luxury is really important to you, I try to compare them to cars so you can get an idea, you know, where they fit into everything. Now let's talk about the configurations. And Jessica's actually gonna help me show you how that goes. Um, I want you to see first how long each one is. This is probably your shortest of the three. When the two seats are on facing you, it has a shorter profile. Now, of course, the shorter the profile, you know, the shorter the, the distance, um, it does change some of the things that it maybe can do or some of the space the kids get, which we'll see as we go further along. Your Vista is pretty close to your Silver Cross. Um, maybe a teeny smidge lower in the back, but not very far. It's pretty, it's pretty consistently close. You will see though that your Vista um, seat, your, your higher seat sits a little bit higher than your Silver Cross higher seat. And then you have your City Select Lux, which I think there's a big difference there um, with how long it is. So again, if, if, if the length is, not, is something that's really important to you and you want a shorter stroller you know, to take turns, um, then this wouldn't be the stroller for you. But don't discount it right away because it does do other things that maybe the others don't do. All right, so. I want you also to see in this position, sorry, I'm gonna go back to it, um, how much space your kids have when sitting this way. Check out the distance when both children are facing the parent between the two seats. For me, now this is where I insert my little bit of opinion. For me, my kids were never close enough in age that I would ever have my older child facing me and my younger child facing me. So this position was kind of like never gonna be used by someone like me, but again, different families, different ages, just different needs, this might be your go-to position in your family. So lots of room with the city select. Up baby, not too shabby either. You still have a, a great deal of space between both seats. Um, both children still have very similar, you know, leg room as they did on the city select. And um, I didn't mention it before, but I do want to mention that all three strollers have adjustable footrests on the upper seat. On the lower seat, all of them have adjustable footrests except for the rumble seat by Up a baby. So. All three of them will give you a footrest where you can do this in the upper position, and then all of them give you that in the lower except for up a baby. So keep that in mind. And last, as far as the room goes, is Silver Cross. Right now I have this up. So maybe it's a little bit less room, but still a comfortable amount of room for a child to be able to sit there. I would say that with all three of these strollers, with the parents, with both children facing the parents, your children are never gonna be in a lack for room in any of them. It's pretty comfortable. Um, for the parent though in this position, you'll see that in the Silver Cross, your child in the lower position does use a little bit of the basket for their feet. For the Vista, the child in the lower position uses the back portion of the rumble seat. Um, this portion has a bar across it in the center of the basket and that's still available to you, the, the forward portion of it. So you have a little more space when ch both children are facing you in the basket. And the city select is kind of the same thing. You have the child in the rear is gonna use up a lot of the space. The child in the front is using up, um, I mean, the child in the rear is using up space for their feet, but the front portion of the basket does have more room. It's a little harder to access because there is this bar right across from it. So it would probably be either a side access or you would access it through the center while the children are facing this way. I know I touched briefly on the differences in the second seat footrest. I wanna just talk a little bit about the weights of the seats, the weight capacities of the seats. Um, as you can see, and the sizes. As you can see, Silver Cross gives you a pretty generous uh, seat for your upper child. And the second seat, which I probably should have showed you before, your second seat is pretty much, I believe, the same size as your upper seat. You can't really get in there to see it. Uh, but it does have a different weight capacity. The upper seat can hold up to 55 pounds, which is like, I think like a second grader. Um, and the lower seat can hold up to 45 pounds. There is a little weight differentiation of um, their capacity, but they're very close. The Up Baby Vista, the upper seat can hold 50 pounds and your Rumble seat, which is your lower seat, can hold 35 pounds. They are not the same seat. So these are not the same exact seat either. You still have to put like, the upper goes in the upper and the lower goes in the lower, uh, but they're very close in size to each other. 
These are a little different in size. The up is full size seat, which holds the 50 pounds, is a full size seat. And the rumble seat is a little bit smaller. And like I said previously, does not have an adjustable footrest and holds 35 pounds. So like I said, there's, there's positives and negatives to all of them. For me, the negative to this is that I would always want my older child in the lower seat. And the lower seat has lesser of a weight capacity. So and the same thing for this one, but 35 pounds is 10 pounds less than 45 pounds. So it's just something to think about if that's important to you or not and where you want your older child to be. And, you know how much they weigh. The uh, Baby Jogger City Select is really cool because it has the ability to uh, use the seats in either position, meaning that they're the same seat. These seats are the exact same seats, they are the exact same size, pretty generous, and they each hold 45 pounds. So this gives you the same for both, but not as high of a weight capacity as the 55 that the Silver Cross is giving you. Now, we want to show you the other, some of the other configurations. I can't show you all of them today, but I'm going to show you the other seat configurations. And like I said, Jessica's going to help me out. The next thing we're going to show you is the lower seat facing outward. So you can see really easy to change all of them. I'm going to put it sideways so you can kind of get a view of that. For me and my family, this would probably be the position that I would use the most because I know that my older child would want to seat out, be closer to the ground, and my younger baby would want closer to me. So the positive is that they can all do it. The negative is that some of them have more space than others and you know more ability to recline. The Silver Cross, uh, it's kind of, I wouldn't say tight, you know, there is room, I can still put my hand back there. And what's cool about it is that this lower seat can recline, so your older child can sleep and this one can recline too. You don't have a ton of space between the two, but it absolutely can be done, which is a good thing. The negative is that if your baby wants to sleep and your older child wants to hang out, they really can't do much here. You see, you're not getting much of a recline there. A little bit though, but not like a full recline. On the Vista, same thing. You have a generous amount of space between the two seats. and definitely more room between the two seats if they're both reclining. Again, if they're sitting up, this child does get a full recline potentially. So that, that is something to think about if your children are you know, a baby and then an older child and this is your position that you think you're gonna be kind of committed to. For the city select, This is, this is kind of it. Um, both children sort of have to commit if they're sitting back to back to sitting up. So it might not be the best seat if you have a small child that you want to put in the seat. You know, if you have a car seat adapter, I mean, and you want to put the car seat in, it's doable in the stroller as well. But that's a car seat adapter is a totally different conversation that we're not quite up to. All right, let's now see where both seats are facing uh, outward. probably going to be another popular position for a lot of families because as your children get bigger they're going to want to see things. I remember at about uh, one year I was sad that my son decided he was kind of done with facing me so forward facing he went. between the feet of the upper child and the backrest of the lower child. The Vista gives you a little more space. I wouldn't say a stellar amount more, but a little bit. And I think that the City Select gives you, the City Select Lux gives you the most space of the three of them. You know, it's kind of, like I said, it's preference, it's what works for you. What this couldn't do, it does better here. So you gotta kind of decide which position makes the most sense for your family. Now, let's recline them. So as you can see, there's not much reclining action happening with the Silver Cross or the Vista. A little bit up here, but this would really work for a child that's kind of an infant because if they have legs that go beyond this, they're going to get crushed by the seat connection in front of them. So if you want to recline them, on this one, the City Select Lux is your big winner. Now let's talk about um, back to back. 
if I remember correctly, We front, I'm sorry, front to front. Yeah. <laughs> I meant back, back to back, and I meant front to front. If I remember correctly, there is no front to front action happening with the silver bra. This is not a realistic or usable position at all because lower child is taking a foot to the face, which is probably not something we want. So I would say for Facing each other, the stroller is out. The Vista, I mean, it's potentially possible, but again, it would only be really work if this child was so small that they didn't have much leg going because while they wouldn't exactly take it to the face, it would still be in their way and it's gross like dirty shoes and stuff in another kid's space, not into that. This is a great position in the stroller. So if you have two kids that are of age where they could socialize with one another, this stroller does allow you that. And if you're probably like, well, you know, why do they do different things? I don't understand why this does something that that doesn't do. Remember in the very beginning of this video, how I showed you how this frame was the longest of them and this seat sat the lowest, uh, making the distance between the two seats the most, which makes your stroller the longest, but it gives you the most comfortable configurations as far as space between the seats when they're facing each other and, and in different areas. So uh, that's the plus to this stroller. This one does something that the others really don't do well at all. Now I want to show you some of the uh, pricing and accessories. So you can sort of see where we play. I, I compared before them to cars and I, I don't know if those prices actually match up to more the look or more the price, but let me give it to you so you can decide. This stroller, which is the Silver Cross Wave, as a single stroller includes a lot of things. And excuse me if I'm looking over the side, I'm actually looking at the prices so I can get it right for you because like I said, I don't want those messages where you tell me I'm all wrong at the bottom. Um, this stroller is $1,299 as a single stroller. And it includes the seat, it includes the frame, it obviously includes the basket. It also includes a cup holder. You get the bumper bar, you get, um, I said the bassinet, you get the rain shield and the mosquito net for both the uh, seat and the bassinet, as well as the inserts for the seat, which is great. I mean, inserts are great because if your kids make messes when they get bigger, you can just wash it and not have to worry about, you know, staining your stroller seat or getting it messy. So I love that it comes with those. And also I say it comes with the bumper bars and it comes with a foot mop, which I have over here. It's kind of like a boot that goes over the footrest just to keep them, you know, a little more warm and cozy in the winter months. So you're getting all that for $1,299. If you now want to turn it into a double stroller, the uh, bassinet for this is $399. So it is a little pricey if you want a, a sorry, not a double stroller, a double stroller for twins. That I'm talking about twins where you need two bassinets. It's $399 for the bassinet and an additional $349 for the second seat. So for $1299 and $349, you get this. If you want two bassinets because you have twins, you have to pay an additional $399. Um, kids of different ages, you don't need to pay that $399. I, so I think that this is probably like about, I would say all in, you're probably at about like between $2,000 and $2,100 if you're purchasing this as a twin stroller. It does come with a lot of things though. It also comes with your car seat adapter and that car seat adapter can be used with most uh, Cybex, uh, uh, um, Cybex, Nuna, and Maxi Cosi car seats. You just do have to check the compatibility to be sure, but it is included. So all in, you're somewhere between like $1,600 and $2,000 for really everything you could possibly need. The other baby Vista comes with some things and not with other things. So it, as you see it, it is a single stroller with a second seat. As a single stroller, it is between $879.99 and $899.99. So it's close to $900, depending on the color you get. It comes with the bumper bar. And like I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the bumper bars on these two strollers are pivoting, so they're easy to open and close and get your child out. It comes with the bumper bar. It comes with the mosquito net for both the bassinet, which is included, the bassinet is included, and it comes with the rain cover, for the seat. It also comes with the mosquito net for the seat. So you get two mosquito nets and one rain cover included in that. If you want to buy other things like, you know, seat liners, foot muffs, cup holders, car seat adapters, those are all sold separately. And if you want to purchase the rumble seat, the rumble seat is somewhere between 169 and 189, depending on the color. And an additional bassinet if you have twins is between 189 and 199. So you're about with this, you're probably nine, 
Um, you're in like the fourteen to fifteen hundred dollar range, all in um, once you purchase all your accessories as a twin stroller. So fourteen fifteen about two thousand. The City Select is an interesting stroller because it has so many options for accessories, but the accessories are not included at all. Right down to like the bumper bars that you see on these two strollers, you don't get that with this. So you're totally able to pick and choose what you need and what you don't need. So what works for you, like I said, may not work for somebody else, so you don't have to you know, invest in it from the very beginning. The stroller itself is $699.99 as a single stroller. Then if you want to add the second seat on, it is $200. And if you want to add a bassinet, it's about $200 as well. So you're at seven, nine, you're in between like nine and 1100 without accessories. And then all the accessories we talked about that the other seats um, come with, like the bassinet, the rain covers, the cup holders, the um, mosquito nets and seat liners, not included. So you pick and choose what you want and then those will all be extras, including the car seat adapters. And the, the Vista and the City Select have additional options beyond what the Silver Cross offer for car seat adapters. So keep that in mind. It really depends on what car seat is important to you um, and how, you know, how that factors into what stroller you're choosing. So I want to show you how I fold these strollers so you can see, you know, which ones are compact and Jessica's going to help me with that again. They all fold with one seat on. Vista is this, these triggers on the side. You're gonna fold it down. Let me actually pull this up so it's a little nicer. So the difference between the Vista and some of the other strollers is that the Vista does stand when folded. For many people, this is like a feature that they go crazy for. Like my customers will love the fact that it can stand when folded. For me personally, it was like something that I just did not care about at all because I would fold it and put it right in the trunk. I didn't need to stand, you know, have it stand beside my car. I personally don't let my strollers lock if they lock. I fold them just enough to close, but not where they'll actually snap shut. Again, personal preference, but this does lock and it does stand when folded if the front wheels are properly locked. So that's how this one folds. The City Select. You're gonna pull up in the center as opposed to the top. And it folds like that. Kind of a similar fold to the Vista, um, but it won't stand when folded. And it does also lock on the side down here. And the Silver Cross, also kind of similar the triggers on the side up here, and fold down. Again, like I said earlier, I prefer to take the seats off my strollers when I throw them in the car. I like them to get like a little bit smaller, easier to toss up in, but like I keep saying, this entire video is all about personal preference. So these are the three strollers. They all have great wheels, foam-filled tires. Um, gener they all have generous baskets. This is, is definitely the biggest, but they're not too shabby. I want you to see the backs of them. Vista and Silver Cross have a foot brake, and the City Select Lux has a handbrake. It also has, like, part of the thing that the handbrake does is that you can push on it and slow your stroller down. I feel like this kind of sends a mixed message to people because this is not a jogging stroller, so I don't really know why you'd really need to slow down your stroller. But then I thought about it a little more, and I feel like if you're going down a hill, you know, in a really hilly area, and you're gaining speed as you're just walking and momentum, it probably is kind of nice to have that little handbrake there to, you know, get a hold of the stroller and make sure that it slows down a bit. So handbrake, footbrake, footbrake. And um, they all have, you know, different options as far as colors. They all have extendable, actually, they don't all have extendable. This one and this one has an extension on the sun canopy. Can never be too careful with sun protection for your kids so i love that feature about it and the lux does not have that but still like pretty generous sized canopies and peak of a window with mesh for extra kind of ventilation and airflow also peek of a window with mesh and peek of a window not mesh but clear um, so you can see through it to see your baby so lots of different features 
there's probably so many more that I didn't mention here, but I can't make you guys a video that's like an hour long because that would just be too much for you to watch. Um, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of a basis to help you make the decision better if you're looking for a single to double stroller. I will add videos where I talk about them as single strollers in comparison to one another and maybe even two where I compare the single to double aspect. Um, but three is a bit much, which is why I just kept it to the double today. So hopefully this helps all of you decide what you want. It helps Kim Kardashian decide what she wants as well for her double stroller. And um, you can purchase all of these strollers at Nestle Baby or on NestleBaby.com. And keep following me. You can follow me here on Nestle TV or on Instagram at Nestle, uh, the Nestle. And thank you so much again, guys, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. Bye.